so before start the actual project explanation i request you please subscribe my channel so you can see on the screen up till now i have uploaded more than 66 video on raspberry pi the raspberry pi with iot that is all this video then also iot with arduino all this video are 26 and recently we started the new series on the pick my controller before that i also cover the project on the python web application so if you want to learn python iot raspberry pi arduino pick from the scratch and from uh, freely then please subscribe my channel please support me and the most important part is whatever the code i have explained whatever the project i have created on this youtube channel all these projects are freely available you no need to pay anything for this project so just if only point is you should watch complete video and you should follow my process so if you want to learn something from the scratch and freely then support me and please subscribe my channel and please click on like button hello friend in today's video we will learn how we can connect a fingerprint sensor module with raspberry pi so you can see on the screen i have connected fingerprint sensor with raspberry pi and that is working but before before start the next part i would like to tell you what i will cover in this video so i will cover how to connect this hardware with raspberry pi also we require the program so i will give the program to you it is free of cost no need to pay single rupees also i will tell what are the in dependent library you need to install in your raspberry pi so that you can use this fingerprint sensor so today video is very basic video in that video we will just connect this fingerprint sensor and we will add our finger we will search our finger and then we will delete that finger so that you can use this fingerprint sensor in your different types of project okay so before start the next part let's see the practical demonstration of this project first okay so you can see on the screen i have the four different types of program first program is search finger then second is uh, to find the uh, index of that finger then to find the enroll finger like to enroll your new finger then if you want to download the image of your finger you can use this program and if you want to delete the finger you can use of this program so first we will see the practical demonstration later we will see how to uh, install this library so basically if i want to enroll my finger i will open this program with python 2.0 python 2 so once i open this program just click on run and run model so if your fingerprint sensor is working then it is asking waiting for finger so enroll finger so i will put my finger there so let's say i will give my this finger so again it show remove finger again waiting for same finger so you can see new finger uh, added successfully so that means our first finger is enroll so this is the use of enroll program now if i want to search the finger then i will open the search finger program just click on this program right click open with python 2 after that run and run model so after that it is asking waiting for finger currently three fingers are there so it is showing the three finger so it is waiting for the finger now i will put my finger there so it will show the idea of that finger So you can see it is showing found template at position one so id of that finger is one so that is the one if if let's say if your finger is not enrolled so it will show finger not found so let's say if i give my other finger which is not enrolled so this finger also enrolled so it is showing id at zero location that finger is stored now if i give the another finger which is not stored before so it will go it will give finger not found so let's say this finger is not store so i will put there so it you can see no match found so this is the use of search finger and how to enroll your finger now we saw how to enroll the finger and how to search the finger now if you want to uh, delete the finger so how you can delete just open the delete program open with right click open with python 2 and from here you can delete the finger so right just click on run and run module login so let's say it is asking which uh, finger you want to delete so let's say i have to delete first location finger so i will give one number one here and enter so once i give number one the template is deleted that means that finger is deleted so likewise you can delete the finger if you want to delete any finger from database you can give the id how to find the id you already know from the search finger from here search finger you will get id and that id you can type here and then after that you can 
that id you can type here and after that you can delete the finger so like this way uh, next program is to download the image of that finger so if you want image of your finger just click on this program and run module after that click on run and run button so it is asking uh, waiting for finger so i will give my finger there which is already enrolled so it will take downloading image so wait for some second after it download the image so image save at this path so go to that path So if you go at this path, so here you can see the image of that finger, here you can see the image of that finger. So likewise you can enroll your finger, you can find the image, all these things you can do with that one. So let's say if you deleted any finger, so I have deleted my thumb finger uh, ID from the database and if you again search that finger. So let's say if I open the search finger code, so from here open python2 and if I click on run button and if I place my finger there, so you can see it is showing this not found, the id not found. So if you want to again enroll the same finger, then you can open the enroll program with python2 and again click on run button and same process you can follow play, place your finger remove it and place again so in this way you can see it is enrolled now if you want to again search that finger again with search program so I open the search program, I click on run button and then I will press my finger, you can see found at template position 1. So in this way, you can enroll the finger, you can search the finger, you can delete the finger, you can download the image of that finger from this code. Okay, so this is the basic part. Now we will see how to, now we will see how to import the additional packages, how to install the packages for that project in your Raspberry Pi. Okay, now first we will see the hardware connection part. So you can see uh, this is my Raspberry Pi 3B plus. You can use any Raspberry Pi. So very first important part is you should understand the pin connection from here. So Raspberry Pi, you can see this row act as a complete even number pin and this row act as a complete odd number pin. So whenever I need a pin number, I use this cheat. You can also prepare this cheat so that whenever I say any pin number, you can just uh, place that pin at that location only okay so this is the raspberry pi 3b plus i have you can use any raspberry pi then after that you can see this is the fingerprint sensor so fingerprint sensor at the back end you can see here it is number given one to six number first number is here and six number is here we will use only four pins one two three four pin so one number pin act as a vcc two number pin act as a ground three number pin act as a tx pin for this fingerprint sensor and fourth number ping act as a rx for this fingerprint sensor so make sure this connection only you have to use one two three four uh, ignore the color uh, color code maybe your color code may be same or maybe not but pin number is definitely same so first number pin so first number pin from this fingerprint sensor I will connect so this is my first number pin that is a red color if color code match you can also use the same so red color pin this is the first number pin that should be connected to 5 volt that 5 volt nothing but the two number pin of raspberry pi okay so two number pin is 5 volt now the second is black color black color is nothing but the ground pin so ground pin is nothing but the uh, this is a ground pin that should be connected to six number pin of raspberry pi so i will connect to six number pin okay six number pin of raspberry pi then after that we have the uh, the fourth number pin of we have the fourth number pin of raspberry pi that is the rx pin so fourth number pin is rx pin of raspberry pi that is in green color that should be connected to 
एट नंबर पेन ऑफ रॉसबेरी पाई ओके देन आफ्टर दैट वी हैव द थर्ड नंबर पेन ऑफ रॉसबेरी पाई द थर्ड नंबर पेन ऑफ दिस फिंगरप्रिंट सेंसर दैट इज नथिंग बट द दैट इज नथिंग दैट इज नथिंग बट द टी एक्स पेन ऑफ दिस फिंगरप्रिंट सेंसर दैट शुड बी कनेक्टेड टू आर एक्स पेन ऑफ रॉसबेरी पाई दैट इज द टेन नंबर पेन सो हाउ आई हाउ आई आइडेंटिफाई टेन नंबर इज आर एक्स एट नंबर इज टी एक्स दैट आई विल शो यू ऑन द स्क्रीन सो दिस इज वेरी सिंपल कनेक्शन आई विल अगेन रिपीट द रेड पिन दैट इज द फर्स्ट पिन ऑफ फिंगर प्रिंट सेंसर इट्स कनेक्टेड टू टू नंबर पिन ऑफ रॉसबेरी पाई देन ब्लैक पिन दैट इज द सेकंड नंबर पिन ऑफ फिंगर प्रिंट सेंसर दैट शुड बी कनेक्टेड टू सिक्स नंबर पिन ऑफ रॉसबेरी पाई देन थर्ड नंबर पिन ऑफ दिस फिंगर प्रिंट सेंसर दैट इज द टी एक्स पिन दैट शुड बी कनेक्टेड टू टेन नंबर पिन ऑफ रॉसबेरी पाई एंड फोर्थ नंबर पिन दैट इज द आर एक्स पिन ऑफ दिस फिंगर प्रिंट सेंसर दैट शुड बी कनेक्टेड टू रॉसबेरी पाई एट नंबर पिन सो एट नंबर ऑफ रॉसबेरी पाई एक्ट एज अ टी एक्स After you do the connection, then next part is do, you can give the power supply from here. So Raspberry Pi basically need a 5 volt 2 ampere power supply or 5 volt 3 ampere power supply. So you can use mobile adapter also, and then HDMI pin connector you can connect here, and then you can uh, see your Raspberry Pi on the desktop. Okay. So if you want to understand the pin connection of Raspberry Pi, any your Raspberry Pi, then go to the terminal from here, and just on this terminal type the command. GPIO read all. So this command you can type GPIO read all and press enter. So once you press enter, from here you can understand the pin connection. So you can see my six number pin act as a ground. That's why I connected fingerprint sensor ground to six number pin. Then two number pin act as a five volt. That's why fingerprint sensor five volt I connected to two number pin of Raspberry Pi. Then eight number pin act as a TX pin of Raspberry Pi. that should be connected to uh, fingerprint sensor rx that is the four number pin and 10 number pin act as a rx pin of raspberry pi that should be connected to tx pin of fingerprint sensor uh, that is the third number pin so this is the basic connection that you have to follow you can understand from your raspberry pi okay now we will see how to install the packages which is required for this project so first important point is you, you should download my this folder Raspberry Pi fingerprint folder. You can see this folder. You can download from my web page link. The web page link given in the description. So once you download, you will find the command file. So open this command file, and one by one you have to uh, uh, install this command. So how to install this command? Just copy this command. Let's say first command I copy. Copy this. Open the terminal from here. Raspberry Pi terminal. You have to open. So here should be Raspberry Pi name should be come at that terminal. So like this. and then paste first command and press enter so once you press enter then again second command you have to enter so second command is this one you have to copy this command right click copy and enter so one by one like after this command install like copy this next command paste enter then again this command you have to copy paste and enter so like this one by one by one you have to copy all the command and last command you have to copy and paste once this command done operation done so like this one you have to copy one by one command so at the end i have paste this and enter so after this your raspberry pi package get install this fingerprint package get install in your raspberry pi. okay once this package okay once this package gets install in your raspberry pi again you have to go to raspberry pi here and preferences and raspberry pi configuration so after that once you go to the configuration go to the interface and make sure your serial port should be enabled at your case it should it, it may be disable you have to enable this by clicking this button and click on okay so once you click on okay your serial port is enabled so like this you can see at my end by default now serial port is enabled from interface so because our sensor work on the serial communication so that you require to enable this serial port here So these are some basic setting you have to do to run your project. Now after that, what you you can do? Okay. Then after that, you can test your code. So how to test your code? Go to the example, and here one by one you can test your code. So let's say if I want to run this code, just after you connect the hardware, right click here, open with Python two. If you don't have Python two here, you can also use the terminal. So how to use the terminal window? Just go to the here in terminal Raspberry Pi terminal. here then you can type cd 
so once you type cd copy this path and paste so once you paste then you can run the one by one code so let's say if you want to run the enroll code so just copy this name copy this complete name and go to here and here you can type python and paste that name so python paste that name and press enter so once you press enter from here also it will start running so now here you can see it is asking for the finger and if i place the new finger here then program also running from here so likewise you can run the program from here also and program from here also